All right, everybody. Well, there is a giant egg we got, and that is it there. Look at this. My, I got big hands. Look at this guy. Look at the size of that thing. Now, let's weigh it. Now, let's see. 3.1 ounces. That is massive. Let's then compare that to. Is this a regular egg? That's a regular egg. This is a regular egg. So let's look at the size difference first. It's just massive. All right. And then uh, let's look at the weight. Two ounces. That is insane. That's egg. So yeah. anyway, let's. Uh, these are. Show it next to a blue egg. Oh yeah. This is. <laughs> Hold on. This is a blue egg. This is a blue egg there. They're both blue eggs, really. No, that's a um, mama egg. Oh okay. That's a blue egg. <laughs> uh, our biggest and our 1.2 ounces. <laughs> anyway, so let's uh, crack this sucker, this huge one. Uh, can you actually do it, Jamie? Because it's hard to do one-handed. Watch, don't burn your arms. Oh, God, the shell's hard. That's good. You should get wow. enough. Let's see if it's a double yoker. Oh, twins! Yeah, double yoker. Yeah. Let's throw, uh, throw it down there. Yeah, double yoker. It's pretty good. Yep. Anyway, thought we'd show you that because that was pretty amazing size. So, and then there's a little blue. These are delicious, by the way. They are delicious. Yeah. They're so probably the most tasty. Yeah, they're the most tasty ones out of all of them. She eats well. Okay, I'm gonna get back to cooking the egg here. Some rabbit prints here. Yeah. Right by the coop. Anyway, uh, yesterday, uh, last video with the hatching video, you guys seen. Um, uh, trail cam footage of the uh, lynx. Uh, well, yesterday, I couldn't get it on camera because it was kind of unexpected. I actually got a notification from that camera down there that there was, like, I saw the lynx in the picture. So we ran out here because Jamie was just going to take the dogs out. So we came right up here to this spot. And right there, just past that little other camera there, like halfway through the trail there, or the path here, uh, a mom and her two baby the babies came running across the there, a lynx. So that was pretty cool. We saw them run right across there. Now, our chicken coop's right here, so it's a little scary for that. Um, but anyway, we thought we'd come down here and check again today. And uh, they're not here so far. But anyway, just saw rabbit tracks yep. from yesterday. And then there's this weird. Or did I step on it? No, it was over here. It was over Where is it? It's right here. Oh. And Jamie thinks, because she knows a bit more about this stuff than I do, that's a dragonfly larvae, apparently. And uh, if you look, I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you look down that hole, it goes all the way down to the bottom. And so that thing climbed up from the bottom. Well, the larvae um, are hatched in the water, so I'm assuming it's going from water underneath. Providing that's a actual, either way, it's definitely coming up from the bottom. So you can tell spring's coming, because uh, all those little creatures are coming out. Anyway, that's creepy as hell. Look how deep that hole is. Ugh. I am not a bug person. Blech. I hate bugs. So I, it's a little windy. You're probably going to hear some wind here, but uh, well, breezy. But I thought I'd show you guys. I just realized I haven't shown you guys this in the winter because it looks, well, almost spring. Uh, or pretty much spring. So anyway, the uh, this area is the marsh area. I thought I'd show you this because it looks really neat right now. The snow and stuff. Yeah. So nothing major going on down here yet. As uh, Jamie says, some prints up there. But I thought I'd show you guys this this time of year. So it's kind of cool looking. All right. So this is where I was yesterday, uh, and you guys will see that in the in the hatching video that we just posted. Uh, well, when I see me sit, time you see this, I might not just post it, but the uh, hatching eggs video. Uh, I was changing my cameras at the beginning because I've been I haven't been up here in a while, and this is uh, within I think an hour roughly I can't remember exactly but a very short period of time. This one went off to let me know that there was something going on, so I looked, and the lynx was running by the camera. So this is where they came out. They came out literally shortly after I came back or went back in. They came out and came here, right where I was.
And then uh, you can see the footprints from the other little one. I don't know where the third one's footprints are, because there was three of them for sure. I don't see a third set though, so they might have crawled down there or something, I don't know. But uh, see, this is warning me again that the uh, <laughs> camera's getting triggered. But she came from up here. Uh, up here. So, uh, not sure where from up here. But uh, the other one came there, and that was shortly after. So they might have actually been watching me as I was doing this, which is even creepier. So they might have their den around here somewhere, so I gotta be careful. All right, guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see this because of the white background, but I just saw this in the snow, it's hair, and it's the same coloring as the lynx. And uh, it looks like her footprints are right there. I don't know when this was, if that was from yesterday or not, but I actually got her hair, it looks like, and there's a paw print right there. That's where I got it from. That's pretty cool. I'll keep it to show Jamie. It's really coarse. Really coarse. So a little on edge out here because uh, you never know what. You never know where these things are, right? On this with the babies. I'm not trying to provoke anything by doing this. I just want to see if I can see where she came from, so I know if she's staying here or not. Because if she's staying here, then we gotta know where she is, kind of thing. Won't do anything about it, but I gotta make sure the chickens are okay. So. Uh, I'll scare her off if I had to, but uh, there's lots of moose have been up here, tons of moose poop. So yeah, anyway, here's the uh, here's her tracks. They barely leave tracks. It snowed a little bit, funny enough, overnight, even though it's nice and sunny out now. So, oh god, this is deep up here. I don't know why this is so deep. It's hard for me to walk in this, and I'm not sure why, because... Uh, nowhere near that deep by the house so definitely gotta be where the wind blows anyway yeah that's that's what it looks like in winter here well end of winter pretty nice looking anyway uh let's get on our way back from the trail I'll give some of the birds some scra uh, scratch <laughs> Eating your food? Come on, Sly. Come on, buddy. Here. There you go, bud. Come on, Stimp. Bloody bus. Is Blue eating in there? Put some food in there off camera. Yeah, she's at the. <laughs> she's in the very back there eating. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Okay, see? Gotta trick all the big ones. Hey, Queen. Hey, sweetheart. Hello. Come back. Where are you going? Come here. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Oh, no, not having it today. How are you today, Queenie? You doing well? Where's Blue? Here's a tear. Oh, there's Stimps. There's Stimpy coming in. Hey, Stimps. Buff. <laughs> All right, heading over to the other coop now. Let's watch. Watch them. I know we haven't cleaned up the mess yet. It's going to be a while before we get around to that because we have a lot of work to do. And, it, uh, and it's muddy right now, anyway. <sighs> I'll put gravel in here eventually. Oh, they're not running over on there. There yeah, they are. Hey guys. Hey guys. What's the mud pit? Hey girls. Hi. Mud pit. Yeah. That's better though. Sun came out, guys. Yahoo! Yeah, it was snowing this morning, funny enough. As you can tell by the ground, there's some snow in here. Crazy. Now it's like 8 degrees Celsius. Oh, you can tell who feeds them the most, huh? <laughs> These ones like out up there. That one. Adorable. 
Emma. Who else is here? I haven't named them all yet. I don't remember half their names still. And then the barred rocks, which are going to bed by themselves now. But not laying eggs yet. Not really laying eggs yet, though, no. But they're headed, uh, instead of us fishing them out of underneath the coop at night, trying to get them in their pen, they're actually going in there themselves now. Yeah. Hey, barred rocks. Barred rocks, in case you don't know where the, those ones are. Really, guys? Really? You haven't been fed at all? Not at all, eh? And there's... That's all they do with these. Where's Arnie? Arnie's there. And John Claude is his butt in the air right there. Hey Arnie. How's it going, buddy? Still haven't had a bath yet, have you? Still dirty. I don't know, maybe that's just your... Is that just his feathers? I think that's just his feather coloring, actually. Where's Beard? Is that Beard? That's Beard. Yeah, that's Beard there. Anyway, let's go see what eggs are in here. There's Mohawk. Is that Mohawk? Oh, what's up, Bard Rock? What's up, Bard Rocks? Any eggs? Oh, wow. Quite a few eggs, actually. I don't know what you got earlier today, but quite a few for this time of day. Don't bite. Is that the same one again, there? No, it's a different one. You gotta check the little guys were in here? I gotta come back in the water, so. Hey! Ow! Ow! I'd take that out there. Hey! You bite me? Hey! Did you get that? Yeah. You get out of there, bad chicken. Hey! No, you get out. Out. <laughs> yeah, you get removed if you get biting. No biting. You didn't have an egg in there. No biting. How'd you go? You go outside, you've been banished. Yeah, you listen well. Okay, all done? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get those. What's the other one that was in here? No, you know you're a different one. You're not the one sitting in there all the time. We've kind of broken those. There's a few staying in the in the boxes all the time, but uh, Danny's kind of broken them to the habit a little bit. They're going out now, so they're not getting so broody anymore. Which is a good thing. All right, girls, look tired. I gotta put a set of stairs here so I don't step on one of you one day. Not that exciting today, just strolling around doing stuff. Taking a bit of a break from all this work that we've been doing on the coop and that. And that wasn't very nice this morning, so I wasn't planning on doing much today, and then it got really nice, so... Yeah, anyway, I have to deal with all that. It's supposed to be nice pretty much for the next uh, couple weeks. I think it'll pretty much stay nice now until uh, until next year, or until next after summer, so... I think we're pretty good. Might have a few cold days, but I think we'll be all right. Hi, Bard Rock. Hello, guys. It's funny because these birds are so calm. Oh, they actually really like a no. They're apparently calm anyway, but oh, oh, they splash. The oh, geez, yeah. I knew they were going to do that since they stood the ladder up to get it out of the mud. These ones, those ones there came from that place with the high, high uh, roosting bars, so these things love to climb stuff. Anyway, there's a the splash one. Have we named that one? Which one? Splash. Yeah, her name's Splash. Oh, it's just Splash, yeah. It's hard to remember all these names now. I'm bad at names to begin with. Oh, these two are going at it. It's like Muhammad Ali fighting there, bobbing and weaving. How come you didn't break him out there, big guy? Oh, he's getting a little... He was, he was clocking at him a little bit. This one's so beautiful. This is like one of my favorite ones. This one, these, Amer these are Americanas, right? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're pretty birds. Arnie. Some in the nesting boxes. So Arnie and John Claude, John Claude. Who would win in a battle? John Claude. Apparently John Claude's the, the boss here, but <laughs> in real life, who knows? Well, Arnie's getting old now anyway. Well, so is John Claude, actually, in real life. <laughs> they're both getting kind of old. Oh, good girl. They don't trust you. Not yet. He wants to eat on the sand. He wants to 
You bite me, yes, I know you bite me. This one's pretty too. I know we said it a few times. Hey! Hey, sweetie, look at your coloring. Beautiful. Funny how to get uppity with the food when they've had it all day. Here, give me some. I'll see if I can get some of them to feed out of my hand. One of the bard rocks did before, but. Mama? Want some, Mama? Here. You don't bite my hand, though, okay? I don't want to punch you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you're gentle. Oh, you got no top beak, though, right? Or shorter top beak. Well, I don't know if I want all of you going crazy all over my hands. I only want one or two of you eating. Because you guys can actually peck pretty hard sometimes. That one there bites. Right. Which one? Yeah, that's yeah. what I figured. Wow, the bard rocks are even gentle with this. Yeah, yeah. I love them. They're so gentle. Hey, you're going to run in here and bite my hand, aren't you? You're bard rock. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to earn your guys' trust so you listen to us. Yeah. Yeah, you're a biter. You're a biter. <laughs> She's back <laughs> There you go. Hey, I don't like when you come running over like that, because next thing you know, you're clamping onto my finger. Yeah. Not that you guys dangerously hurt people, but uh, I don't feel like being bit. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mohawk? What's that? What's a Mohawk? Oh, the bard rock sneaking up behind me. Yep. Yeah, you're the biter. You move on. It's okay. You don't have to worry about us. We're your buddies, remember? We save you. Yes, we do. There's Red and Daisy. Hey, hey Daisy, a little old lady. She's not old, but uh, she's actually quite young, but she looks old. And there's Red. Hey, you're following me around quite a bit too. Yeah, there's are. Sammy, be careful. Oh, look how the interest they're getting from her yeah, moving up. What's this, guys? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> Gonna get muddy. Seriously, Arnold, you listen to John Claude over. He he squawks and he goes to run off. <laughs> hey guys, what is she bringing in for you? What is that inside? Oh, it's ice. just ice. Okay. That's where the mouse ran into that we found over there. Oh, I still have the footage for that to put in here. The vole, yeah, I found a saw a vole. Uh, actually, I'll put, try to pull, put that in this video. I'll put the vole video in here. You guys might see that in this video, actually. So we have a little friend that came out of our wood pile, and she's trying to find her way back somewhere because we took all the wood away. Most Aww. people stomp her and stuff, but we don't like that. So. Hi, little girl. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not your friend. Oh, she's hiding beside me. Aww. Look at her. Sorry, little buddy, but there's not much we can do for you. We can go to the, over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my truck. Go, go close my door, please. Where'd she go? Uh, where'd she go? She's gone. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. I don't know where she took off. She could be in the snow. She could have... Uh, she's gone. Okay, well, hopefully she took off under the snow or something. Anyway, that was fun. I don't know what kind of mice they are. I thought they were voles, but I don't know they're if they're a vole or not. Either. Huh? They're not I don't think they're, that's a deer mouse. Yeah, that might be a vole. I have to look up voles. Anyway, I'm hoping she's not like eating my wires on my truck now because she disappeared under there. So hopefully she went in the snow because it's where they live most of the time. But it's sad she made a, she was looking around here for all the wood we moved to hide again. She's got little tunnels everywhere though. This is where she was sleeping, I guess. Poop everywhere. Kind of gross little animals, but anyway, everyday new stuff. I tell you, middle of winter and there's freaking mice running around in here. Cool. So anyway, we're gonna put the tire in here and then they can mess around with it. We should fill it up with sand in the summer or dirt. Yeah. And they can dig around in there and have another bathing spot. <laughs> they're gonna be out here freaking laying their eggs. They're hungry right now, they're too busy eating. That's all they do is eat. <laughs>
hip hard rocks. What are you? Is that one gonna lay an egg over by the ladder? I don't know. She's not doing much, is she? Well, she's okay. Uh, yeah, I got their attention. Look at Beard. That's a, oh, there's Beard. That's yeah, Beard's there. That's Beard. Did we name this one the other Americana? No, we haven't. Yet. No. Hi! What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, you might have to move that out of there because I think they're going to start, you know what, sitting in there and come out here. There'll be 30 eggs in there. All half eaten. Okay, well, I'm back again. That was going to be the end of the video, but apparently this one over here, little puffy haired head is one there, the gray and black one. I've just been informed her name is Martha. Yeah. Barney. Martha. They kind of hang around each other, these two, actually, quite a bit. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's usually with Army. Anyway, just so you guys know, Martha. <laughs>